Hey there, science fans. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of humidity. You can't see it, but humidity is always there, playing a crucial role in our weather and our comfort. Humidity is simply the amount of water vapor present in the air. Water vapor, as you might remember, is water in its gaseous state. It's invisible to our eyes, but we can certainly feel its effects. Think about a scorching summer day. High humidity can make it feel even hotter and stickier. On the other hand, low humidity in winter can make the air feel dry and chilly. Understanding humidity helps us make sense of our environment. It also helps us make informed decisions about our health and well-being. So let's explore the different aspects of humidity and see how it impacts our lives. First up, let's talk about absolute humidity. In simple terms, absolute humidity tells us the actual amount of water vapor present in a given volume of air. It's like measuring the amount of sugar dissolved in a glass of water. Absolute humidity is expressed as grams of water vapor per cubic meter of air. The warmer the air, the more water vapor it can hold. Think of it like this. A warm sponge can absorb more water than a cold one. So, when we say the absolute humidity is 15 grams per cubic meter, it means that there are 15 grams of water vapor present in every cubic meter of air. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, let's move on to relative humidity, which is a bit trickier, but super important. Relative humidity is the ratio of the actual amount of water vapor in the air to the maximum amount of water vapor the air can hold at that temperature. It's expressed as a percentage. Think of it like this. If a room can hold a maximum of 100 people and there are 50 people inside, then the room is 50% full. Similarly, if the air can hold a maximum of 20 grams per cubic meter of water vapor at a particular temperature, and it currently holds 10 grams per cubic meter, then the relative humidity is 50%. Relative humidity is what we usually hear about in weather reports because it directly relates to how comfortable we feel. High relative humidity can make us feel hot and sticky, while low relative humidity can make us feel cold and dry. Section 4. Factors Affecting Humidity Temperature, Air Pressure, and More Many factors can influence humidity levels. Temperature plays a significant role. As we discussed earlier, warmer air can hold more moisture than colder air. That's why relative humidity tends to be higher in warmer months and lower in colder months. Air pressure also affects humidity. Lower air pressure can hold less moisture, while higher air pressure can hold more. That's why mountainous regions, which typically have lower air pressure, often experience lower humidity levels. Other factors that can affect humidity include wind, proximity to bodies of water, and even vegetation. Wind can carry moist air away, while large bodies of water provide a constant source of evaporation, increasing humidity levels. Plants also release moisture into the air through transpiration, contributing to humidity. Section 5 Measuring humidity hygrometers and how they work. Now that we understand what humidity is and what affects it, let's talk about how we measure it. We use instruments called hygrometers to measure humidity. There are different types of hygrometers, but they all work based on the principle that certain materials absorb moisture from the air, causing a change in their physical properties. One common type is the hair hygrometer, which uses human or animal hair. Hair absorbs moisture from the air, causing it to expand in length. This change in length is then amplified and displayed on a dial or scale as relative humidity. Another type is the psychrometer, which uses two thermometers, a dry bulb thermometer and a wet bulb thermometer. The dry bulb thermometer measures the air temperature, while the wet bulb thermometer has its bulb covered with a wet wick. As water evaporates from the wick, it cools the wet bulb thermometer. The difference in temperature between the two thermometers is then used to calculate the relative humidity. Section 6, Understanding Humidity Essential for Our World. So there you have it, the basics of humidity. We've learned that humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air and that it plays a crucial role in our weather and comfort. We've also explored the difference between absolute and relative humidity, the factors affecting humidity and how we measure it. Understanding humidity is essential for many aspects of our lives. 
It helps us predict and prepare for weather events, maintain comfortable and healthy indoor environments, and even preserve delicate artifacts and works of art. So next time you hear about humidity, remember that it's not just some abstract weather term. It's an essential part of our world that affects us all. And with a little knowledge and understanding, we can all become more weather-wise and live more comfortable and informed lives.